For 2,000 years, the Jewish people, scattered and dispersed throughout the four corners of the globe, never gave up on the improbable dream of returning home to Israel. Jews everywhere prayed to the Lord, may our eyes see your return to Zion with mercy. The impossible suddenly appeared within reach when the mighty British Empire issued the Balfour Declaration in 1917, recognizing the Jewish people's right to their historic and spiritual homeland. But as the dark clouds gathered over Europe, the door to the land of Israel was not yet open. Under Arab League pressure, the British ruthlessly restricted Jewish immigration. As the world looked on, Karen Hayasod, alongside Jews already in the land of Israel, banded together and took on the challenge. They launched the clandestine naval operation, codenamed Aliyah Bet, to save their brethren from the clutches of Nazi Germany and bring them to Israel. With careful organization and ingenuity, these brave souls defied the British authorities. Makeshift, rickety boats set sail from ports across Europe, transporting a wretched human cargo of men, women, and children desperately seeking refuge. But the might of His Majesty's Navy stood in their way. Time and again, those who had escaped the gas chambers gazed longingly at Israel's coast, the land of freedom in their midst, only to be defied by the British and turned back to Europe. Fruma Galant was just such a little girl when she traveled to Israel on the SS Exodus during the Hapala. Upon its arrival to the port of Haifa, the ship was deported back to Europe, thus making it a symbol of the many hardships Jews had to face during the time of Aliyah, immigrating to their historical homeland. מתחיל קרב וזה. הם התחילו לשחק כדורגל, האנגלים עם האונייה. אחד נתן דחיפה ימינה, השני שמאלה, והאונייה התחילה להתפרק כמו לגו. בחיפה הורידו את האנשים, עשו עליהם פליט עם כל הכעס שהיה להם, והעבירו אותנו לאוניות, לשלוש אוניות. זו הייתה אוניית אסירים, הם זרקו את כל התרמילים. אנשים נשארו כמו שעלו, בלי בגדים, בלי שום כלום. Undeterred, the overcrowded, unseaworthy vessels of Aliyah Bet continued to challenge the blockade. Young Jewish fighters, aided by their non-Jewish sailors, succeeded in bringing more than 70,000 Jews home to the land of their forefathers in more than 100 vessels. We came to the port of Haifa on the boat called Argentina. One of the boats of Argana who've been caught maybe an hour or half an hour earlier, and they were singing all of a sudden Hatikwa. And we also started to sing Hatikwa. It was a very emotional something that one does never forget. Those who made it ashore were swiftly smuggled into the future Jewish state by daring activists from Karen Hayasod and elsewhere. Evading capture, the new arrivals were taken to Kibbutzim and other new communities to live as free Jews in their own land, fulfilling the dreams of countless generations before them. This is the only place where you know that you are in the land of Israel. 